Hey guys, uh, King here. Quick disclaimer before the video officially starts. Um, the video that you guys are about to watch was recorded at the same time, uh, sorry, the same day of that um, Stumble Guys Hide and Seek episode. And if you guys remember the description from that episode, basically I had said, hey guys, I was actually in a lot of pain recording this episode and it kind of turned into a mess. Um, that goes doubly so for the Warframe episode that you guys are about to watch, uh, because this was literally recorded after the Stumble Guys episode, um, and it kind of turns into a huge mess. Uh, now, here's the thing, I'm recording this little segment on the day you guys are gonna watch this episode, right? So I'm recording it on the 20th, and it's going to be released on the 20th. So th that's why Wukong looks different, uh, that's why I finally have the Soma now, so shit like that. But um, none of this shit happens in this episode, and it doesn't happen for the next like four or five episodes either. I've been busy, okay? I've been trying to pump out videos even while I'm kind of in pain and shit. But um, regardless, uh, if you guys want to skip this episode because it is kind of all over the place, feel free to do so. Honestly, not a lot happens in it, and I recap everything that happens in the next Warframe episode anyway. So if you guys do want to skip it, that's perfectly fine. You, you, I give you guys the go ahead and full permission to do so. If you guys uh, do want to just sit here and watch, uh, and watch me basically fry my brain while trying to like focus on commentary, then uh, you, you guys can feel more than free to do so because let me let me tell you, we we do pretty horribly in this round. We lost so many times. Is such a simple boss, it's actually kind of embarrassing, but anyway, uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the episode. Uh, peace. Hello, everybody, it's the King back here with our video today, guys. We're back with another episode of Warframe. Now, today, guys, we are most likely going to be finally getting the Chroma Blueprint. Uh, the reason I say most likely is because the last episode was basically a constant process of us getting teased, being like, oh, here's Chroma. Uh, there's not Chroma, here's Chroma. Uh, still, you don't get Chroma. I'm pretty sure. This time, we finally get Chroma, but even if we don't, it doesn't matter, because I'm way too hyped. I'm way too hyped. I'm not gonna lie, I think I found my favorite Warframe. I think I found the Warframe that's probably gonna be my number one throughout my entire time playing this game, because I just, my god, I love this goddamn Warframe. I've wanted it since day one, I've been very vocal about wanting it. I had it building in the last episode, and it's finally done. Let me introduce you. You guys may already see it. You know what I mean? You guys may already see it. Uh, we're not talking about Goss Prime. Goss Prime is cool and all. And I will eventually play him because uh, he seems fun. But we talking about our boy, Wukong. Yeah, that's right, boys. This isn't what he normally looks like. This is what he normally looks like. But there's a boy Wukong, bro. Tell me this color scheme ain't it. Now, here's the thing. Uh, this color scheme technically is not complete. Uh, I, I really like it, but I don't like this part right here, this, this Teotary. I actually want this to be brown and, rather than gray, but the issue is that I don't have any good brown tones. Like, I have some reds and shit, sort of like, like kind of maybe if you squint are brown, but like these are very clearly red. Um... And the issue is that, uh, like, like, I have obviously the Ember Heirloom, but the issue with these is that, as you can see, they basically just turn black. Like, it's not actually brown, it's just black, and it really sucks. Um, I, I have some of these, which is, like, not what I'm trying to go for. Uh, I have thought about, like, using some substitutes just until, just, like, until I get it. So, for example, something like this, which I, I still think looks good, but I think I'd rather just leave it gray in that case. Um, even though this does kind of give it some personality, you know what I mean? It, it does kind of make it look a little cooler. But the issue is that I don't like the way this looks right here. It kind of makes him look constant, like, like he's frowning for whatever reason, rather than, like, being, uh, more serious. Uh, here's the thing, right? I, I just really want, like, a brown tone to kind of, like, lend to that, like, oh, uh, it's a monkey, you know what I mean? Like, like, look at this, even this looks better, this is not the tone that I would go for, but even this looks better, even that looks better, bruh, like, straight up, you know what I mean? Um, the one that I, oh, actually, I haven't even tried Grenier tones yet, but, um, uh, not, not, not good, not good. What, what I'm thinking is, right, Twilight, and then let me go with right here, right? Literally, this the bro right here. Look, tell me this doesn't look good. This straight up looks so perfect, bro. I would love this shit so much. Like I want this so badly. Um, but I don't obviously have the platinum to buy it. So uh, I think after we get Chroma and fully build him and shit, we're gonna we're gonna f figure out how to sell some some shit. You know what I mean? We're gonna find out whatever is good and we're gonna build it and then we're gonna sell it. Uh, just so that we can really, um, even, even this one, honestly, isn't bad, you know what I mean? But, like, we're gonna have to, honestly, just find a, um, like, like, some sort of revenue for us to be able to sell shit, and then we're gonna start selling shit, because, because I wanna start buying more color packs, because, I 
<laughs> I know most people are probably using uh, platinum for other shit, but nah, I want color packs, I want skins, I want cosmetics. That's probably the only thing I'm ever going to spend platinum on. You know what I mean? I've mentioned it before, but oh my god, do I genuinely love customizing my Warframes. Like, it is so, so satisfying. I can't even put in the words. But straight up, right? Like, tell, bro, I, I, I really, really, um, hold on, hold on, there's a, uh, where is it? Because here, here's the issue, look at this, bro, it literally just turns black. So, like, even Daybreak, bro, I would take, you know what I mean? Like, 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 it's not perfect, obviously it's not perfect, very clearly, but, like, at least it's kind of brown. Like, we have this, uh, shade, which is, like, kind of brown, you know what I mean? We have this shade, which is, like, a kind of uh kind of brown and actually you know what now that i look at it i think we'll go with this for now even though it's a little too red for my in my taste like i like it but i just i don't know it feels a little too red but actually you know what i don't hate this um i don't hate this so, so yeah we'll go with this for now but like bro tell me this skin don't hit tell me this shit don't hit bro our boy wukong is in the house bro i am so happy i can't tell if you guys can hear it in my voice or not because i am trying to keep it a little lower because it's like uh 5 a.m right now but bro oh i've been waiting to get wukong for so goddamn long bro um i tested out his skills and shit and oh my god is this man so fun to play like this man is genuinely so much fun to play now as you guys can see we have a bunch of energy capacity which uh, oh by the way I, I literally just got this one from uh mckay so that's why it's not already on here but um uh ooh, you know what ability duration too let me let me, let me oh, that's pretty good actually anyway sorry uh <laughs> sorry um wukong is really really cool i will show you guys what he does once we go into the actual mission just give me a second to put some mods on him and then let's go and i'm pretty sure we're gonna have a, a chroma boss fight which is super great because it means we're, we get to uh, fight chroma bro i'm actually super 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 happy bro we get to have a boss fight with chroma with our boy wukong in other words we get to have the monkey kick the dragon's ass which is gonna be so satisfying give me a second to put some mods on and i'll see you guys in a bit all right i finished putting on the mods let's go fight uh chroma bro I i'm super super hyped i'm not gonna lie i've been having so much fun uh, playing with Wukong. I got him a few hours ago, and I've literally just been doing nothing but playing with him for since. It's so much fun, bro. So much fun playing with Wukong. I can't even put in the words. Um, let me break down his abilities for you guys, just in case you don't know what it is. Um, so for his first ability basically allows him to create a clone that is permanent. It does not despawn, and the only way to get rid of it is to kill it. And the best part is that Wukong can basically infinitely spawn his Activate clone. Now, he can only have one clone active at a time, but, like, if the clone's about to die, I can just deactivate the clone and then just spawn in a new one, bro. And it's so much fun. Now, here's the thing. The clone, which I'll show you guys right here. Uh, let me, let me, there we go. The clone um, will use whatever category of weapon you're not using. So if you're using melee, it'll use your primary uh, weapon, which is your primary gun. If you are using your primary gun, it'll use your um, melee weapon. It does, uh, the secondary weapon seems to have absolutely no use um, in Wukong whatsoever. And um, honestly, that doesn't really matter to me because just having him with the gun is just the best. Now, here's the thing. I honestly, I can't tell if the man does heavy attacks or not. I had a discussion with Hungarian Knight and McKay, and they said that, like, they're, like it's, it's basically just random if he decides to do a heavy attack or not. But it's just, I don't really know. I feel like having him with um, the gun just makes him more useful. I'll, I'll show you guys in a second. But, like... Like, cause, I, cause I just don't know. I feel like like the man doesn't really do as well as I do if if I have the sword. But with the gun, the man literally just like he's so good with just putting down covering fire, especially with the AX fifty two that has so much ammo and just really really powerful. You know what I mean? Um, the the reason one of the reasons that I'm really kind of like wanting to know if he does heavy attacks or not. There's a lot of mods that I've got that like like boost heavy attacks or like like let, like life steal on heavy attack and shit like that. And if Wukong is clone heavy attacks pretty regularly, bro, I would literally just put all those mods on my Dex Nakana. Oh, I, how does that count as a death? Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, bro, uh, they couldn't handle my Wukongness. Uh, <laughs> but like, if, if he uh, triggers heavy attacks more often, right? I literally will just max out the Dex Nakano with like heavy attack mods and just let the man go to work and just I'll have the gun equipped instead. But I think for right now, I'll probably just have the clone always equipped with the gun. Um, and then his second ability is basically Cloud Walker. He, he can fly, he can literally move, oh, apparently going too high up in the sky also counts as, um, 
as being out of bounds. Anyway, but as you guys can see, I literally just turned into a cloud of smoke, and I can go anywhere I want. Like, I can fly up, I can go down, I can go sideways. It's really, really useful. Like, I didn't think it would have let me fly up, but look at this, bro. Literally, I can go in any direction I want, even up. I can literally just... Like, any direction I want. And, uh, I'm immune to all damage while I'm in Cloudwalker form. And I heal. Not only do I heal, but so does the clone. So, as long as I'm in Cloudwalker form, I literally heal. Uh, so, when, when I'm in that form. And, if I pass through enemies, they get dazed. Like, it is so, so nice. And then, um, skill number three. Uh, basically, it allows me to absorb damage for a couple seconds. And then, uh, to, like, burst it all out. And then, as you guys see, I also get bonus armor uh, based on the amount of damage that I've received. So, it's really... Oh, and, and the clone also gets the bonus armor, by the way, which is super, super nice. It, it, my man's really tanky. Oh, um, okay. I I don't know why this is triggered yet, because I haven't done it. Like, I, I haven't even... Uh, that's a little odd. Dude, it's it's triggering the, the, the wave defense, but we're not even over there yet. Um, which would be annoying if I couldn't traverse the map so quickly. I guess I'll have to show you guys, uh, skill number four in a second. Uh, this is technically supposed to be a Chroma episode, but I'm not gonna lie. My man's getting overshadowed by Wukong way, way too much. Where is this? Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. Let me, let me activate smoke form, bro. Look at how quick we travel, too. Like, literally, not only, like, pay attention to how long it lasts, but also, like, how quick we travel. Uh, let me activate my clone real quick, bro. Yeah, 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 that's right. Let me, let me activate the clone. Look at this, bro. Look at this. This man, not only will he just shoot anything, but he'll also just teleport to me whenever I want him to, bro. It's super, super nice. Super nice, bro. I really, really love this shit. Man, I really love Wukong, bro. I've literally been wanting this man since day one. Just because Wukong is such a cool character in general. Um, and, I, I, and then I found out his skills, bro. Oh, my God. I'm genuinely so satisfied right now. If Chroma turns out to be, a, like, a good Warframe 2, then I'm gonna be, like, so ungodly satisfied, bro. I'm gonna have a cool-ass dragon and a cool-ass monkey man. Wait, mo <laughs> calling him a monkey man sounds so wrong, but I mean, I'm not wrong, though, right? But, like, bro, for real? Now we wait and learn from the results. Alright, sure, bro. But, but the operator is in danger. Knowledge, Cephalon Ortis. Knowledge, Cephalon Ortis. My knowledge will preserve you forever. This operator, this operator will pass, will pass as, as to all beings of substance. substance. I'm sorry, man. A Hong Kong immortal. I can't die. <laughs> but look at this, bro. Literally, you, you see this little red mark? They get dazed. They can't attack or anything. And super, it's a really nice combo. Like, just daze them or get out of smoke form and then kill them. Oh, by the way, I can manually de trigger the smoke form whenever I want. So I don't have to stay in at the max duration. And then, um, the fourth skill basically just pulls out this massive ass bow staff and then just kills everything. It's basically sort of like um, Excalibur's fourth skill where he pulls out like the energy blade, except I'm not gonna lie, this should be doing crazy amounts of damage, okay? Like this shit is just insanely powerful, bruh. Like, I, I, I can't really show it off right now because there isn't like a cluster of enemies or whatever, right? Because the clone is kind of just instantly annihilating everyone. But um, wait, hold on. The clone also pulls out the bow staff? Bruh. Oh my god, this is not. Oh my god, Wukong is more OP than I initially expected. I didn't know that the clone also pulls out the bow staff. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of does drain a bit too much energy. Uh, it, it, is, it is a little bit of an energy drainer, unfortunately. I think I might have to put an, uh, an equilib equilibrium mod on Wukong to allow him to basically just um, turn health packs into energy. Because I think that's going to probably be the only way we're going to be able to keep the um, the bow staff active for, like, full time. But I, I was doing some survival with him, right? And, like, like the bow staff just shred shit. Like, he was only level... I don't even know. Oh, I was trying to attack my own dude there for a second, but not. He was only, like, level 10 or some shit, right? And, like, it stole... Was, was like hitting some of the stronger um, I was like 20 minutes in 30 minutes in some shit like that right and like the bow staff was still just annihilating um infested even without heat mods and shit you know what I mean so it's actually uh, again I'm, I'm attacking my clone again bro this is not what I meant to do hold on let me let me uh slam Wukong slam oh I don't see any enemies uh did I get trolled bro Where, where's the enemies at uh where are the enemies at bro oh bro Oh my god, man is walking into an old... <laughs> Man's really walking into a wall full NPC style. That shit's so stupid. Anyway, 
Wait, are there still more enemies, bro? Oh my god. Can, can y'all all just die, please? I really want to get the Chroma boss fight going, bro. I really want my Wukong to kick Chroma's ass. All right, hurry up. Oh my god, dude. This man's also just walking in a wall like an idiot. Bro, that's stupid. Anyway, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really satisfied with Wukong, bro. I'm so satisfied with Wukong, bro. This man. Oh yeah, look at how cool this man is, bro. Look at how cool this man is, bro. Oh, yeah, and full Wukong. I'm not gonna lie, right? I'm gonna have so much fun with Wukong, bro. I'm probably gonna main Wukong for a while. Now, I'm not gonna forget about Cake Prime. I was thinking about it, and, like, I think I'm just gonna, like, uh, pro most likely, Wukong, Cake Prime, and I, I don't know about Chroma Prime, but I think, like, again, because I haven't played it yet, but I think Chroma Prime as well. Uh, I'm probably gonna be trying to build them just to the very, very best of my abilities. You know what I mean? Like, full Arcanes, full Corrupted Mods, Nightmare Mods, all the good shit. Uh, in, in fact, I literally just learned what Nightmare Mods are a couple hours ago, so, like, <laughs> uh, if you guys didn't know what that term meant, basically, Nightmare Mods are just something you can get from Nightmare Missions, and, um, which I guess I should explain what Nightmare Missions are, that's, that's my bad. Um, Nightmare Missions are basically what happens when you clear every mission on a planet, you unlock, uh, one, like, Nightmare Mission per planet, and if you play them, you can get a chance to get Nightmare Mods, which basically are mods that have two positive, like, stats. So they're basically like two mods in one, you know what I mean? So, so like maybe it's like, I don't know, like crit chance and crit damage or something like that. So that's what Nightmare Mods are. Um, I don't actually know if there's a Nightmare Mod with crit chance and crit damage. I mean, I, I would I, I would appreciate if that was the case, but I'm not sure. But regardless, like I, I, I enjoy Ember's playstyle, so there's definitely no chance of me abandoning her or anything like that. But like, bruh, I, I'm not gonna lie, bruh, I'm really enjoying Wukong way more like wukong is really kind of unkillable like, like, like he's kind of unkillable bro here's the thing every time he dies he has basically three like resets per mission so if i were to die right now i'd actually just come back to life three times and when i say die i don't mean oh full off the edge i mean actually no no, no straight up like murder die you know what i mean like like an enemy kills me i'm gonna come back three times and then i'm, I'm dead for good which is so op <laughs> And then, like, you, you also have the smoke ability, which heals you constantly. You have the tank ability with the third skill. Basically, the man is just, like, like for me, from what I'm seeing, you know what I mean? Maybe this is just, like, me being too much of a noob speaking. But, like, the man just seems super, super difficult to kill. Or this. Free yourself of this. Yo, bruh, I'm gonna bring... Oh. Use the scanner on. You do not have to kill or risk yourself. Get from the control with the scanner. Uh, am I supposed to scan something? Because I don't see anything to scan. What am I supposed to scan? Oh, there's Chroma. Bruh, I didn't even realize Chroma's there. Okay, so I just have to scan it? Is that it? Uh, bruh, that's the easiest scan of my life. I wish they were all that easy. Oh, wait, hold on. I took out to do a couple more scans. All right, bruh. All right, but what the hell? Oh, hey, no, no, no. Man wants to fight? Bruh, you should, you didn't, you, you should not have wanted to. Mm -mm. Uh uh, bruh. Hey, yeah, that's right. Get this work real quick. Immortal techniques. Oh my god. Dude, the immortal technique trigger, which means I died there. Bruh. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's activate smoke more. Let's activate the smoke form for a second to heal up a little bit. Yeah, but that's what I was talking about. The immortal techniques will um will trigger once you die and basically resurrect you. Um, I have an ability right now called... <laughs> basically, the way it works is that there's five uh, immortal techniques. When you uh, select a mission, which actually, hold on, I should, uh, I'll explain in a second. I should probably take full advantage of this invisibility as I can. Because I didn't realize the man was going to be able to one-shot me, which I still don't know how he did, but he did. Come on. Oh, okay, he teleported away somehow. Uh, come on, come on, bro. I would really like to, okay, that's not what I meant to do. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Let, let, let me activate the smoke to kind of daze him a little bit. And then, wait, mission failed? Oh, wait, what? He actually destroyed the thing? Okay, maybe I was having a bit too much fun with Wukong. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe, maybe I was having a bit too much fun with Wukong. I, I should have been paying attention, bro. This is really embarrassing, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't think I... I don't think I've ever failed a mission. No, I think I've failed one mission before, and that's it. Oh, my God, bro. That, that, to be fair, though, that wasn't really a boss fight. That was just kind of scan it a, a bunch. That's not really a boss fight. <laughs> that's just... I mean, I guess technically it's a boss fight, but we didn't even get to really fight it. The man's immortal. I mean, I guess Wukong's immortal, too. Uh, it, it just sounds like I'm trying to... <laughs> bro, it just sounds like I'm trying to spare Wukong's feelings right now. Like, no, 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 don't worry. You didn't lose. It wasn't a fair fight. You know what I mean? Bro, Wukong's definitely my favorite child. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, bro. All right, but for real, though, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go back to the mission, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, we're back up to the scanning portion of the map, or mission, sorry. So let's go ahead and start doing that now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to actually focus on scanning the thing, because the last time I kind of destroyed the thing too fast. So I'm going to just try to scan it as quickly as possible before it destroys the... um. There we go. Oh, was that a double scan there? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I only have one synthesis scanner left. That's actually pretty bad. Uh, what do, what do I do? Okay, no, 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 wait, wait. What do I do when I don't have a, a synthesis scanner left, bro? I don't think I have any more synthesis scanners. Bro, what do I... Is a normal scanner gonna work? No, target is already scanned. Uh, bro, it looks like... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have one charge left. Let's hope it's enough. And it's not. Huh. This is... Wait, wait, wait. How do we still have another scanner? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just... I'm gonna ignore it. I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore it. I'm, I'm just gonna assume that the game is just Go giving now, me infinite Tenno. scanners. Because it feels bad for me. Well. Go now, Tenno. You, you've done well. <laughs> I mean, I don't really think I have done well. This was a pretty poor showing for uh, me really wanting to make a good first debut of my... Uh, of my Wukong. Also, I'm greatly disappointed by this boss fight. I really, bro, is it too much to ask to have a cool, um, work, what's it called, You've Chroma boss fight? Like, I really, really would have loved, like, a really, like, dramatic Chroma boss fight, bro. That should have been so much fun. For now, these skins will be an incredible, incredible addition to the sanctuary. I will continue my, I will continue search, my search for the source of the voice, of the voice and its dominion. Return to me. And hunt again, Deno. Uh, Deno, I will I reward will you. you. Eh, probably never, but okay. I'm probably never going to do your scans. More importantly, the operator is unharmed. Hey, man, I'm kind of... What's up on Ordis? I'm a greater purpose. Healing. Healing. As steward, I would have restored your lost memories. I am Ordis. I am Ordis. Sip Cephalon. I serve the operator. Hey, yeah, that's right, boy. I can make a new member. Oh, my God. Bro, all right, my mom, I'm not even gonna lie, bro, I, I love Ordis, man, I really love Ordis. All right, but we finally got the Chroma Blueprint, so let's go in here, let's go Warframes, where's Chroma, there we go. So, Chroma Neuroptics, uh, Chroma Chassis, Chroma Systems, and Chro- uh, Wait, what? That's, that's very, very strange. Chroma Neuroptics, Chroma Chassis, Chroma Systems, and then a Volt Neuroptics. That, um, okay, okay, that, that's, that's very odd that it's Volt instead of Chroma. I mean, there's two Neuroptics here, so I, I, I guess, but why? Why, literally, why is it like this? All, you know what? Whatever, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna question the game. Um, I just have to figure out which, uh, relics actually drop Chroma. Because I don't think I have the, that type of relic. I mean, maybe I do, who knows? Let me see, let me actually check real quick. Um, let me, let me see. Mm, they're not in the Axie, at least, I mean, I'm not seeing it right now, so, hold on. Uh, Chroma, 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 where are you? I don't think it would be in Lift Relics, would it? Mm, probably not. I mean, probably, I mean, I, I honestly don't think it would be in Lift Relics, because Lift Relics are, like, the easiest to get in the game. Um, huh. Uh, da da da, bruh, yeah, okay, so I don't think it's in any of the Relics that I've got right now, which kind of sucks. Uh, all right, so if I go, I wonder if I can search and to, to actually see. So, for example, Chroma. Uh, okay, nope, that's Chroma Prime. Uh, just, well, what about just regular Chroma? Okay, all of these are dropping Chroma Prime, not regular Chroma. Uh, huh. I wonder how I get regular Chroma parts, then. Oh, wait, you, you know what? I actually... I'm just realizing, I know how to farm for, for primes and shit. Operator? I I don't think I know how to farm for just regular Warframes. I'm gonna have to, like, check the wiki uh, with, with the... Huh. Chroma Prime. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. 